Audi TT Mark 1, reducing your car exhaust emissions. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where this week I've got the car outside giving it its weekly checks. So I figured it would be a good time to cover your car emissions and how you can lower them. If you like what you see today and you find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also think about subscribing for future content on the Audi TT. Right, enough of that. It's far too cold out here. Let's get inside and talk about emissions. Back inside, I've been out in the cold and tonight I'm going to be talking about something I've seen on quite a few of the Facebook groups recently and that is the subject of Audi TT Mark 1 emissions. Or more importantly, getting your emissions down low enough to meet the various regulations around the world. My TT has just been for its MOT here in the UK and I documented its journey on my channel's anniversary just last week. So if you would like to check out that video and you've not done so yet, please click the link above. In fact, a lot of the subject matter I'm going to cover tonight, I could actually have discussed in my pre-MOT checks video I did a couple of months ago in preparation for that test. So if you want to check out that video link as well, you know what's due to the link above. I'm going to describe and explain the various parts in detail so that everyone and not just the car enthusiasts will understand. I count myself as a bit of a beginner, so therefore it will help me understand too. Although emissions are hard to check for before going for your MOT without the relevant probe up the exhaust pipe, there are surprisingly a lot of things you can do to make sure that your emissions have as good a chance as any of passing the test. So why do you want low emissions? Well, above all else, lower emissions means it's good for the planet. A hot topic right now, so making sure our emissions are as low as possible can only be a good thing for all of us. When our engines burn fuel, the stuff thrown out the back of the car is classed as the emissions. With the TT, this is being piped to the rear of the car through various cats, if it's standard of course, and then thrown out into the atmosphere through either a single back box for the 180 and 150 brake horsepower version, or two back boxes for the 225, the 3.2 and the Quattro Sport. But did you realise that you can influence the suck, squeeze, bang and blow of the fuel and gases and that your impact can make a difference to emissions? Well the good news is you can and I'm going to talk about where these failures stem from, what you can do to fix them and how to keep as many of our beloved TTs on the road as possible. Not all of these are something we can undertake at home but you will be surprised the impact you can have and perhaps sneak your car through an MOT that may otherwise have been borderline. When emissions are tested here in the UK for an MOT, a probe is inserted into one of your exhaust pipes and the other is blocked off the rag or similar if you have two. Otherwise, the lambda reading for the test may be off. If your reading is too low on the lambda test, this would suggest that there is a leak somewhere in the system. Now, the majority of us cannot really do an awful lot about that other than get the exhaust pipe repaired or get it completely replaced. However, it could also be a failed manifold gasket that's causing this. So the manifold gasket is the part that sits between the engine and the exhaust manifold. And the exhaust manifold is the part that bolts onto the exhaust pipe. The lambda reading for the test should be between 0.97 and 1.03. Now my car is coming at 1.01, .01, so it's right where I need it to be in the middle. Hopefully that means there are no leaky bits on my exhaust pipe. So at home, a quick check you can do is a visual inspection of the exhaust. So take a look underneath the car with the engine running and see if you can see any leaks coming from your exhaust. You may notice it's developed a new outlet and there is exhaust gases leaking from a hole. If there is and you do not have access to a ramp or you're not confident of the repair, I would suggest taking it straight to an exhaust specialist. You can possibly deal with this at home on axle stands, but exhaust work is extremely messy and also very tricky. You need a lot of space to manoeuvre it. Okay, so let's look what you can do at home to fix your high emissions. Firstly, your TT may not be your daily driver. It might not be doing enough miles to keep the engine tip top. Without a good runner every once in a while to clear the pipes, the engine may be running a little rich and in resulting in a dirty burn. Without the engine not running at its optimum or running inefficiently, this could lead to a richer emission than it should. Older cars such as our TTs may have many years of sludge and oil built up. To combat this problem and something you should add to your fuel every once in a while is a bottle of Red X or similar fuel additive and give the car a good 20 to 30 minutes to run. Make sure there is at least a quarter of a tank of fuel to allow sufficient fuel to mix with the additive. 
It should work its magic and lead to a cleaner burn. Depending on what petrol grade you are running the car on, these cleaning additives may be already present in the fill up. However, it's a good reason to stay away from lower grade fuels. So Redex claims to be safe for all petrol cars, so that includes those cars with a turbo and those cars that have a catalytic converter. They also claim that you cannot overdose the car, so that is also a good thing. I would highly recommend doing this at least every six months to the car. One thing that can also affect your engine to be inefficient is your engine oil. I highly recommend giving your oil and filter a change before taking an emissions test. Thick gloopy oil will again cause the engine to work harder and therefore produce a higher emission. Fresh oil that lubricates the pistons reduces the effort the engine needs to output for the same rewards. Now this bottle of Red X is actually engine flush and the idea for this is that you can add this to your engine oil prior to doing an engine oil change. It claims to be able to remove the deposits from within the engine. If you are unsure how to do an oil and filter change on your Audi TT, please take a look at my video link above that describes how to do this. It's a cheap fix that you can do at home. Another cheap fix to keep your engine performing at its best is allowing it to breathe more easily. A blocked air filter will be suffocating your engine, which again will cause it to run rich. The MAF or mass airflow sensor on the car will be trying to frantically control the amount of air the car is using and adjusting as necessary. This means that you should change your air filter regularly and I would say at least yearly. Again, this is a very easy fix and one I cover in another video on my channel here. So please do click the link above. While talking about the MAF sensor, this is another part that can be replaced on the car and from what I have read, can malfunction and lead to cars running badly and of course golfing out incorrectly balanced emissions. You can also clean your MAF sensor with MAF cleaning solution to ensure it is clean and detecting the right amount of air for the engine. If your MAF sensor is too far gone, I would suggest replacing it altogether. Your MAF sensor is located here on the side of an air box of a standard Audi TT. While an emissions test takes place with the car stationary, remember it's how you drive it every day that can affect the emissions. Therefore, consider your tyre inflation is correct on your wheels. An underinflated tyre will make the engine work harder as it is needing more power to drive the extra rubber in contact with the road. So a buildup of emission deposits might occur in the engine due to this. So a quick once around with the inflation gauge will confirm the pressure of your tyres. If you are unsure of what pressures your tyre should be running, flip the petrol cap open on the TT where you will find the correct inflations for your tyres and driving conditions. Next up is the catalytic converter. This is the small silver box halfway down the exhaust pipe under the car and its job is to react with and remove some of the pollutants in the emissions with its precious metals inside. There has been a spate of thefts from vehicles over recent years by metal thieves due to the contents and high scrap value. If your cat has gone bad, it could cause high emissions and a failure at your test. So do check it over while looking for the following telltale signs. Does your exhaust smell like rotten eggs? Is the exhaust gas darker than usual? Is there a loss of power from the car? Unusual noises coming from the exhaust system. So if this has failed, there is not an awful lot we can do at home to reduce emissions other than take it to a specialist and get the cat replaced. I'm not going to talk about the world of decats and sport cats here, as I feel I do not have the knowledge or expertise to comment on that. However, I'm sure those of you that have got them fitted to the car out there you know your apples and you know what you're dealing with. So lastly, your spark plugs and coil packs. These are the items that are delivering the ignition to the fuel. Again, these can foul and can cause a bad burn, so always worth replacing these regularly if the car is misbehaving. This is a relatively easy fix and one I'm going to cover on the channel here shortly. So that pretty much covers my thoughts and findings on emissions on the Audi TT Mark 1 and what you can do at home to lower them. If you have a topic that you're thinking of that you would like me to cover on the channel, please do leave me a comment below and I'm always happy to research these fabulous cars and see what I can do to help you. I hope you found today's video useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Also think about subscribing to the channel if you've not already done so for a whole host of Audi TT Mark 1 content. Once again, thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the ch where today I'm focusing Greaser. Come on, what's that got? Come on, Greaser.
Why you got? Come on, come on, come on, Grazer. Come on, come on, come on, Spikey. What do you want? This is what I have to deal with. Grows up. This is Grows up. And you have a nineteen over there. Go on then. Go on then. Hey, I've got the car outside, giving it its weekly run in the winter time. But that's not what I'm covering. Andy here, and welcome back to the channel, where today I am covering. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel. I've got the TT outside, giving it its weekly checks. I've got the... Okay. Where this week I've got the car outside giving it its weekly checks. So I figured it would be a good time to cover your car emissions and how you can lower them. 